Right. Uh, what's up, everybody? Grim Green back here today. Thank you so much for joining me. I wanted to spend some time today talking about everybody's favorite product category. It's pod systems. There have been a lot of really good pod systems, I feel like, within the last six months. I feel like pod systems have gotten a lot better than they ever have. So what I wanted to do was I grabbed four sort of top-tier pod systems. These came out maybe towards the end of 2020, beginning here of 2021. And what we have in front of us today is the Vaporesso, oddly named X-Ross pod system. We're gonna do the Caliburn G, which I have a full video for this already. I'll link it down below in the description, but we're gonna be comparing those to pod systems that kind of came out this year. This is the Vupu V3, which I've kind of talked about a little bit. I've talked about the V-Mate, and the V3 is just an upgraded version of the V-Mate. This has a screen and an actual button so you can adjust your wattage. And then lastly, this little thing just came out of nowhere and surprised the hell out of me, Geek Vape. Weenax K1 kit. As a self-professed, whatever, tobacco harm reduction advocate, one of the things that I'm always looking for is pod systems. Pod systems, pod systems, pod systems. Because I think that pod systems are really the most beneficial thing to the smoking adult. I'm a hobbyist vapor. I like RDAs and RTAs and huge clouds and stacked tube mechs, but that's not necessarily what's going to appeal to the average smoking person. So pod systems can be a really spectacular transition product jumping off point into the world of vaping, and they can be really satisfying and reliable on their own. This could be the last vape product that you that you really need. So let's see if I can balance this and do a little size comparison. There's the Vupu V through. That's the Cali Burn G. I think the X Ross is the next tallest one. And then finally, the Weenax is the tallest. They're honestly mostly the same form factor. It's the same idea. It's just a little battery and a pod and you plug it in and you vape it. There's not a tremendous amount of difference between these devices. In fact, they all slightly have the same specs. This is eight, uh, 900 ma. This is 800, this is 650, and finally the Weenax, 600. They all have a two mil capacity with the exception of the Vaporesso, which has a three mil capacity. They all come with both a 0.8 ohm coil and a 1.2 ohm coil. Again, with the exception of the Vupu, it comes with a 0.7 ohm coil and a 1.2 ohm coil. Really evenly matched. Now, if we want to talk about something like adjustable airflow, the only one that's really going to have adjustable airflow out of these is the Vaporesso X Ross. It's just this little slider on the back all the way to the left is fully open and it is wow open. Almost restricted lung open. Not quite but almost, just very hyper open. So open that I have to press the button to get it to activate because the auto draw won't fire because it's so open. Nice, flavorful. You can slide this all the way to the other side and get what I feel is the tightest, the single tightest mouth to lung pod vape ever, ever. Mm-hmm. Crazy, crazy tight. So if you're looking for something with an airflow control, the X-Ross is the only one that has it. Caliburn G kind of has a little bit of airflow control in that you can pop the pot out, flip it around, and it'll either give you a lighter draw or a stiffer draw, depending on what you had it before. There's only one on each side. You get a light draw or you get a stiff draw. It's both mouth to lung, and it's kind of a, a one or two option. So not really adjustable airflow, but kind of adjustable airflow. Now, when you get into things like the Vupu V through or the Weenax from Geek Vape, no airflow control. The draw that you get is just the draw that you get. Thankfully, they're both really delightful draws. I raved and raved and raved about this Vupu V through. I liked it so much, I just went and bought a bunch of coils for it. I went and bought a few spare batteries for it. This has completely displaced my Caliburn G as like my main banger pod system. I find it 
incredibly enjoyable. I really like the smooth, smooth draw. I like the hair trigger for the auto draw. You just take a drag, it fires every single time. And so I was just raving and raving and raving about this thing and I thought, no, this is it. This is, this is the pod system. This is my favorite pod system. This is the pod system I'm gonna recommend to literally everyone, any smoker. I'm gonna say Vupu, V through, go for it. Well then, Geek Vape releases the Weenax and here comes the little Weenax right around and it walks up to the Vupu and it goes, <laughs> I don't know why I did that. Okay, maybe not entirely knocks the Vupu into the dirt, but damn it, it vapes just a little bit better than that Vupu V through. Which is to say, I actually think the Weenax vapes a lot better than the Caliburn G. Solid, right? Solid, the Weenax. feels warmer, feels more saturated, feels more flavorful. And the Weenax is the only one of these pod systems so far that I haven't had any sputtering issues with. Now when I mention sputtering, it's what happens sometimes with auto switches on batteries. You'll be taking a draw and you'll just be drawing and your firing will just stop and then start again and then stop and then kind of brrr, sputter out. It's sometimes due to liquid getting in the switch. It's sometimes just wear on the switch itself. Sometimes it's directly related to the age of your pod. The X-Ross has given me a little bit of sputtering issues. I've had very slight sputtering issues with the Caliburn G. I've had very, very light sputtering issues with the Vupu V through and I'm honestly really happy to report that in the three weeks I've been using this Weenax, I have had zero sputtering issues. It seems to enjoy firing every single time, which that's a good thing. God, it's just so good. We also kind of have to think about the filling method, right? Because the filling method is different on all of these. On the Vupu, pod pulls out and you have a sort of rubber grommet, you know, hole that opens up right there. Pod out, fill it up, put it back in. Same thing goes for the Weenax. Pod goes out, rubber goes open, and then you get a tiny little, okay, ugh, tiny little hole to fill your liquid. And this Weenax, that's a, kind of difficult to get out of there. They don't really have a tab for you to pull on. Minor gripe on an otherwise awesome pod. Then the Caliburn G and the X-Ross, they do this, where you just push and you can fill it up this way. Don't need to take the pod out of the battery. These are all contributing factors to your enjoyment of a pod system. So let's try to wrap this up. Let's try to get these into some sort of ranked order. If form factor is important to you, a few things to keep in mind is the X-Ross is a little bit on the chunky square side. Feels much bigger than like either the Caliburn G or the Weenax. Caliburn G, it's a little bit smaller. It's a little bit more tapered and the Weenax is even feels a little bit smaller and a little bit more tapered. And then of course the Vupu, it's just the wide boy, you know, it's shorter, but it's the wide boy. Okay, ranking time. Let's rank these. The once great king, the Caliburn G, I think is going to kind of drop down to second to last place. Here it is. This is my rankings right here. I think in last place is gonna be the X-Ross. Not that there's anything inherently wrong with it, it's just my least favorite of the bunch here. It does have that pretty nice airflow adjustment. Next up from that, it's the Caliburn G. It's pretty tried and true, and if you buy it, it's a banger. I just think that both the Vupu and the Weenax vape better than it. Smoother, more flavorful draw in my opinion. And if I had to come down between the Vupu and the Weenax, this is where it's gonna be the most difficult. They both vape so similarly, but I truly and honestly enjoy the vape I get from the Weenax just a microscopic hair more than I like the vape from the Vupu V through. It's just so nice, warm, dense, flavorful. Mmm. Mmm. -hmm. And this one is two. Okay, shit, it's gonna go like this. I didn't think it was gonna go like this, but it's gonna go like this. This is the order. Fourth, third, second, first. The Weenax 
is spectacular, but I do prefer the Vupu's bigger battery and the ability to adjust your wattage. That's something I think that gets overlooked very often in pod systems because sometimes your resistances can be weird. You might get a burnt hit when you wonder, why am I getting a burnt hit? I wish I could just turn this voltage down. Well, on the Vupu V through, you can. Anyway, I'm gonna wrap this up, but it's a bunch of pods and pods just keep getting better and better. These are among four of the best that I have ever used with the Weenax and the V through probably being, you know, just kind of the best of the best, in my opinion, at least as of right now, as of January, 2021. Links for all of these will not be in the description because YouTube will literally delete my channel if I do that. So you're gonna have to use your Google foo, you guys. But thank you, seriously, so much for watching. These are pod systems that I would recommend to smokers. So if you're a vapor out there and you have some smoker friends and they're asking you about setups, any of these, I think would do really well for a smoker. Thank you so much for watching everybody. And remember, no matter what anybody tells you, especially people like Mike Bloomberg, vaping is at least 95% less harmful for you than burning deadly, deadly combustible tobacco cigarettes. Yeah, so no matter what is in your hand, let's keep on vaping.